Hello everyone, welcome back to DMARC DKIM. This video will guide you how you can set up your custom domain for sending emails from Fastmail and you will see how you can set up the SPF DKIM, DMARC and MX records for your domain to protect it against scams and spoofing. So we are going to sign up the Fastmail account with our custom domain. You can also use the free trial for the first 30 days. Write down your name or your company name and then you are going to set up your email and here turn on the toggle for use your own domain now write down your domain name and now set up a password for your account so i have set up my account by adding all the information required and here on the dashboard click the drop down arrow next to finish setting up email now click finish domain setup and then click continue and get instructions and here you have the dns records required for authenticating your domain these are mx dkim spf records and we will also see how to add the dmark record at the end now go to your domain provider select your domain look for an option of dns and in this section you have the option of adding new records select the record type mx now copy this value and in the name field write at the rate now paste the value select priority 10 and save this record now add the second mx record and for the second record we are going to select the priority 20 as mentioned with the mx record and now let's move to the dkim record we will add all three dkim records Copy the record name, select type C name, add the record name, now copy the value, add it in the target field and always turn off the proxy for C name records because when proxy is turned on, it diverts the traffic to your DNS server instead of your email server which can cause authentication issues. Now let's add the other two DKIM records. And next we have the SPF record. If there is an existing SPF for your domain, you need to merge it with Fastmail SPF to get a combined value. You can use dmarkdkim.com SPF merge tool for this purpose. Link is given in the description. And here you are going to add your domain name. Then add the Fastmail SPF. Click merge SPF values and this tool merges both values to give you a combined one. The Fastmail SPF comes with a soft fill mechanism but the SPF which was already added in my DNS dashboard has a hard fill mechanism. And you can select either one of them. Hard fill means the emails from unauthorized sources will be completely rejected and soft fill means that the emails will be received but marked as spam. So it's up to you which mechanism you want to select. Just copy this merge value replace your existing spf record and then save it now click check now and here the green tick marks with each record indicate that the records are verified and they are successfully set up next we have some other dns records click customize dns and here you have many other records but they are not important to add but one record is crucial which is dmark record you can find it at the end but this dmark value is a p none value which only provides monitoring for emails and it is not blocking or rejecting the emails coming from unauthorized sources so basically the p none value is not securing your domain or your emails that is why you need to set up a strict policy and you also need the DMARC reports to get insights into your email performance. For this purpose, you can use DMARCDKIM.com DMARC check tool. Link is in the description. You are just going to add your domain name here. Click check DMARC. And this tool analyzes your domain for any existing DMARC value or any other errors. Then it suggests you an initial monitoring value. Once it monitors emails from all sources, then it guides you for setting up strict policy to block the emails from unauthorized sources. Add this DMARC record in your DNS provider. Once added, click sign up now to get access to the reports dashboard. Here you will need to add your business email. Then you will see this interface in front of you. Now click connect domain. And here you will also need to add the ownership record. 
I have already added the ownership record so it's not displayed here but you will need to add both. Once you have added both records, click check DNS records. And now your domain is set up for receiving the DMARC reports and it will start generating the reports after 24 hours. You will be able to see the DMARC analytics and the DMARC reports. And a huge benefit you get here is that this dashboard stores all of your DNS history. If you delete any record from your DNS provider, you can still recover that record from here in the DNS history tab because it saves all your data. And with DMARC record, your domain authentication is now complete. Now your emails will not go to the spam folder and your domain is protected against scams. If you have any confusion or any query, you can ask in the comment section. And if you are unable to verify the records immediately, you have to wait for 24 hours because the servers sometimes take longer to update your DNS changes. If the authentication fails after 24 hours, it means there is a misconfiguration in your DNS setup. Look for any typo errors in your DNS values and any conflicting records. But if you are unable to figure out where the issue is, you can hire a DMARC DKIM.com expert. You can find the link in the description to schedule your meeting with one of our experts and we are happy to help you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care and have a good day.